This is the uh, supporting main event, Super Flyweight 10-rounder, uh, Rene Dakel against Mateo Handig, the IBO international champion, Rene Dakel. 15 wins, 6 losses, and 1 draw with 5 KOs to those 15 wins. Going up against a guy with 13 wins and 7 KOs to his name. Should be a good one, Rene Dakel. Last fight, he lost by 12th round unanimous decision versus Takumo Inoue of Japan, December 29, 2015. That was for the OPBF Super Flyweight title. Right. Now, let's see whether he can make an issue out of this, show his, uh, show his skill, his power, and come back. Now, these are the, this is the tale of the tape, well, Mike. Well, basically, halos patas lang, except mm -hmm. for that reach advantage that uh, Mr. Dakel really brings on paper, no? with uh, about three inches in, uh, in reach advantage. He fights orthodox, and Mateo Handig comes in as a southpaw. Should be a good fight, so let's go over now to our ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is scheduled for 10 rounds in the Super Flyweight Division. Presented to you by Ryuta Kato United International Boxing Promotions Tokyo, Japan. Director Warren Avison. Ladies and gentlemen, the three judges at ringside scoring this bout on a 10 point bus system will be Gerald Timeldon, Oliver Garcia, and Robert Bridges. Your referee in charge of the action inside the ring, referee Ver Aba Inza. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting in the blue corner, wearing green with red trim, official weight 116 pounds. His professional record, 13 wins, 7 by knockout, 9 defeat. From the Empire Boxing Gym, Makati City, Mateo Warai Warrior Handy. And his opponent in the red corner, wearing gray with black, also weighing 116 pounds with a professional record of 15 wins, 5 by knockout, 6 defeat, and 1 bout even. He's the former Philippine Super Flyweight Champion, the former IBO International Super Flyweight Champion from United Boxing Gym, Manila, Philippines, Rene. Commander Docker. Rene. Okay, nandiyan ako rin, Perry. Gusto ko ayos. Malinis ang laban nyo. Okay, third man in the ring is Ver Abainza, international referee, well known in these parts of the world. And uh, he's going to have uh, his work cut out for him, I think, because, uh, you know, Handig is a fighter. He's going to, he's a southpaw, Mike is going to come in. Dakel will pick his spots. He's coming off a loss in the OPBF Super Flyweight title fight. But he's a good fighter. He's a good fighter. Well, we know that much of Dakel. No? He will not allow himself to be pinned down. Uh, even if uh, Mateo comes in, as you said, charging. No? Uh, fighters lager nga ito sa Mateo, as he described it. But to see uh, Dakel lalayo ito, partner. No? He, he will uh, always find that distance for himself. Yeah. He'll try to outbox uh, Andy. Uh, early in the fight, ang unang plano ni Dakel just to size up Handing and then uh, try to outbox him as the rounds go by. Well, so far, a very slow first round, as you said, no? Uh, sabi nga na marami, tawag dyan, feeling out rounds to Tama. determine ano ba ang daladala ng kalaban mo, what, would, uh, what the, does my opponent bring on top of the ring, no? and uh, moving forward, be more aggressive itong si Handig, as uh, Ronnie mentioned, the style of Handig to be. Yeah, ito si Mateo Handig naman, he's going to have to push 
the fight. He's going to have to take it to Dakel. He hopes to uh, create an upset. Dakel is the IBO International Super Flyweight Champion. It's a very methodical fighter. Oh, he got a hit with a good right hook to the side of the head. Plus, there is that uh, three-inch reach advantage by Dakel. And therefore, the uh, distance mm -hmm. has to be cut early by, by hunting to, for him to connect the way he did with Tama. those uh, combinations. Tama. Misa pag ganun disadvantage mo, force to good yun, Ron. Kailangan ikaw pumasok kasi hindi ka talaga hahabulin ng mas matangkad o yung fighter na may reach advantage. The kill, trying to keep Mateo Hunting away with the left. Good left hook by Rene Dakel. Working his corner is Jun Agrabio, uh, who trains uh, John Real Casimiro, scheduled to fight in a rematch with Amnat Ronreng of Thailand sometime uh, April or May. Hunting Leach reaching forward and leaning into Dakel with that punch. Good, good combination by Rene Dakel. Another good combination by Dakel. Final 10 seconds of the opening round. Dakel picking up the pace now. You know, but throwing with more purpose is, Sama. <laughs> is hunting. Eh? There goes the bell, end of round number one. Into the corner steps, Juna Grabio and Dr. Rajan Iraola. Both of them uh, kind of, uh, they got a new gym. They, they've refurbished their gym in Mindanao Avenue, Quezon City. Uh, Marvin Sonsona is back in training, by the way, in, uh, uh, in uh, Marikina. Send me a couple of messages. For support. For support. <laughs> I can support him, but no financial support. No way. <laughs> that, you know, that boy has always shown promise. As in, you see here, the promise of a good fight yes. uh, being shown here by Hanik. Those to the left, those right hands from a southpaw. Yes. You know, nakakagulat sa isang orthodox fighter from Dakel. No? Uh, ang umaatake parati yung kanan with power. And then bibiglain ka ng kaliwa with ng, ng isang kaliwetin. Okay, round number two coming up. We've got a nice venue here, the uh, sports complex in hey, Tagig City. You did say you spent a lot of time here. You, uh, you, know, my, you lived here. My lady area, right. for, for many, many years. I lived here. Oh, good right. That right of uh, Han Dick is finding the mark. Dakel tries to work to the body. A number of these people around here are friends of mine. Wala ka naman utang ron, baka yung nahanap ka dito. Wala, wala, wala. Sila meron sa utang sa akin eh. Hindi naman. Mamaya ko, kolekta tayo. One-two combination by the lefty, Mateo Handig, pushes Dakel. Mabayit ng tao dito sa Tagit. Very nice people. As expected, but Dakel moving around, he's the yes. one moving to his left. But uh, ever so often, tinatamaan siya ng mas mabilis na si Handig. And they say that because so far, it's Handig who's showing a little bit of uh, movement more than Dakel. Body shots. Dakel is a good boxer, but he doesn't have that much power. And if you look at his record, you realize that. Handig trying to Oh, he gets out of that very, very nicely. Right to the body by that, Rene Dakel. That's why, you know, Dakel is a worker. He needs to throw a lot of punches. When he wins, he throws a lot of punches. And he throws good punches, well-timed punches. Good right straight by Rene Dakel. This is round two of a fight that's scheduled for 10 on your main event. Coming to you from the Tagig Sports Complex, you know, I'm amazed at how this thing has changed since uh, I lived here. Because, I, believe it or not, I coached a basketball team that played in the Barangay League and we lost in the final. Because I haven't a clue about coaching. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a couple of good players. And you got to the finals. <laughs> yeah, and I just kept the, the guy who was a center. It was a very nice guy. Oh. Boy, I forget his family name. I said, <laughs> So he got into the finals. Huh? Yeah. Oh, Matteo Hantik 
chasing the kill with the left. Not much power in these punches, but they're scoring punches. You know, but the kill should be careful with the kind of uh, attack of Hanging. He wasn't ready for that. He was hit with three left hands. And Tabi Munga, but in a long one power to Salikot, because he's part of the man in the kill. A very silent crowd here in Taguig, just, just watching in the, oh, what a combination, ending with an uppercut. Final 10 seconds. Three successive shots. Handik saying, come on, let's get it on a good right straight by Dakel to wind up that round. Take a break, come back in a moment. 